Hey guys! So, a bunch of new Crystal Beauties just came in for the shop, and I'm just about to cleanse them and energy charge them all. And I just wanted to show you before I get them all put in uh, their places to be stored away until they're sold. So, first, uh, we have a couple of really beautiful jet palm stones, and these are so shiny and gorgeous. Um, they just fit perfectly in your hand. Um, it would also be great to carry in your pocket because it's a wonderful grounding stone and we all need that. Uh, so I've got two of those. Um, Apache Tears and I actually got a ton of these but these are just a little bowl that I was using for the photography. Um, Apache Tears of course are obsidian um, and there's a wonderful legend that goes along with that. You can google that. And these are um, translucent. You can't really tell camera's not really showing it, but these are very translucent when you hold them up to the light. Those are wonderful. Perfect for mojo bags and things like that. Uh, let's see. Oh, I love these. I'm glad I got more of these. Fluorite slabs. I had a couple last time and they just flew out the door. Um, these are wonderful. I like to put candles, candle holders, on top of these um, in the center of a crystal grid or for um, a ritual working they're wonderful you could charge jewelry on them whatever oh you could have another uh, crystal sitting on top in a crystal grid so many things you can do and these are nice and thick and highly polished they're gorgeous love me some fluorite okay oh let me show you my other fluorite baby while I'm talking about it here look at this oh my god have you ever is that not gorgeous? Look at the colors in that thing. I wish I had it in sunlight so that you could see the rainbows in it. That little um, that little spot right there in the sunlight just shoots all kinds of rainbows. It's amazing. That is stunning. Ugh, I wish I could keep it, but it's not meant for me. It belongs to somebody else. I just don't know who yet. Um, man, I want that. I gotta get me one of those. Okay, uh, let's see. More spheres. Yellow calcite sphere. Um, had one of these sold to a really special lady not too long ago. Um, I was supposed to get two in the shipment, but I think they only sent me one. I gotta follow up on that. Um, uh, but I do have one, for sure. And this one comes with a stand. This is the only one of my spheres that actually comes with the stand. Um, because they send me that with the shipment. Okay, um, oh, Lapidolite spheres. Aren't those beautiful? So delicate looking, soft, purplish pink. I just love it. Those are gorgeous. Got two of those. Um, let's move you out of the way for right now. You want center stage, don't you? I know you do. Okay, um, pyrite spheres. I'm so in love with these. Every time I see pictures of them and they're just glittering and sparkling, I just go crazy. So I had to get a couple for the shop. Isn't that beautiful? So heavy, too. Well, of course it is, because it's iron. <laughs> also a great grounding stone. Resonates great with the um, Earth Star Chakra and with the Root Chakra. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I got some more of these dark citrine druze. Some people call them druzy. It's not a cluster. If it's a cluster, it has great big points on it. Um, little small points all together like this, it's a druze. You can call it a cluster if you want. I don't mind what you call it. This is a cluster. Gorgeous quartz cluster. Let me get it in the light where you can see. Look at that. Isn't that not amazing? Look at the water clear point on that. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Imagine that in the center of your crystal grid. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. This one has been vying for my attention the whole time. Look. Is that not gorgeous? Water clear. All of those points are water clear amazing. Oh, look at it flashing. <laughs> You're a talker, aren't you? <laughs> oh, 
Aw, this little guy wants somebody to love him. <laughs> I love him. Aw, he might want to stay with me. They all want to stay with me. <laughs> okay, uh, get serious, Jill. Okay, so we have another uh, citrine over here. Beautiful dark amber and root beer colors on that. Thick, too. Nice thick hunk. Not some flimsy little thing. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Okay, uh, what else? Oh, got some hearts. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Um, blue aragonite. You guys know I love that. Kind of hard to find. Kind of rare. Can't get any good lighting on it. Okay, there we go. How's that? Blue aragonite heart. Um, moss agate heart. Beautiful, beautiful. Road Knight Heart. Perfect for the heart chakra. Not just the shape, but the stone quality itself. Oh, and the Moss Agate too. They both work great with the heart chakra. Either one. Great. Both are great for emotional trauma too. Um, if you were doing a crystal healing and someone had experienced some type of harsh emotional trauma, um, these either one of these would be wonderful to help them work through that. Good stones. Um, this one is onyx. I didn't get this one listed because, as you can see, you see my reflection in there. See me? <laughs> yeah. So I couldn't get a good picture because all you could see was me holding the camera. So I didn't get that one listed yet. Um, but if anybody wants that, just shout. Okay. Now, the last thing I want to show you is this <gasps> yellow calcite standing point. Look at that thing. Does that not look like it is lit up from the inside? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, it's okay. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> this is real life, you guys. <laughs> Uncensored, this is me. Welcome to my life. Okay, so here she is. Still has a perfect point. Isn't that beautiful? Look how big it is. I can't even get the whole thing in the shot. There we go. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, amazing, fully polished. Please don't fall over again. Okay, Whew. look at that thing. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know. I just have a thing for tall points. They just get me every time. Wow. Whew. Okay, so there's the latest haul. We lost some of the light there. Well, good thing I rehearsed this, right? <laughs> oh, man. I wish I could keep it all, but it's not meant for me. They are all meant to go work with special people. So let me know when you're interested. I will be keeping them in sacred space for you. I'll spray a little bit of uh, citrine smudge spray that I make myself. This is how I cleanse all the crystals. First they get a nice spray and then take a little tuning fork and we tap it and they all get this nice little sound treatment and this tuning fork um, resonates at the same frequency as the earth so the idea is that you are resetting the stones to the natural frequency of the earth as when they were in the earth. Um, so that's how I do it. And then um, privately they will each get an energy blessing. Maybe someday I'll share that with you. I'm not quite ready to do that yet. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all these crystal beauties. Come to the shop uh, if you want to see close-up pictures of them. Uh, www.infinitycrystals.etsy.com and since you're my friends on YouTube and probably on Facebook and Twitter uh, use the coupon LOVELIGHT12 for 10% off anytime that you want and that's L-O-V-E-L-I-G-H-T-1-2 all together for 10% off alright guys thanks for watching love and blessings bye